Now section 2 exercise 2 it says device a circuit when i0.0 .0 is on q0.0.0 .0 .0 should be latched when 0.1 is on this should be unlatched same objective but in this case what we have consider i0.0 .0 as nc and 0.1 is no in the last exercise it was the opposite now we need to turn on the output using nc button and turn off the output using no button so that's the this is the opposite so what we can do in the factory IO we have to turn on the output using NC so just for your reference I'm just realigning these inputs now this is the start and this is the stop so I need to change its wiring in the card itself so I'm putting the stop which is NC to my first input and NO to my second input okay so how we can do that in this case let me just open the programming window turn it off now now focus here we need to turn on the output using NC okay so in that case I will take its NC contact now why see initially this will be true so this will give me the signal and this will be open alright so when this is open it will not give signal to the output so the output will be off okay when I press this button this will be true this will be false so this will pass the signal sorry this will be true it will pass the signal and turn on the output okay I'll, I'll just simulate that then it will make more sense now in this case this is my stop button okay this, this should stop the output this is named as start but this is used to stop the output this is what the question says we have just just change the input and output input buttons just just to understand more about NU and NC otherwise we generally use this to start and this to stop but I'm using this to stop and this to start just to make the concept clear okay so to stop something with NO push button we take its NC here this is the you can say it as it's a rule or you can just cram it if you want to actuate something using NC take its NC if you want to turn on something using NC take its NC if you want to turn off something using NC take its NO as we did in the last exercise but that's opposite for NO if you want to turn off something using NO button take its NC in the PLC if you want to turn on something using NO button take its NO okay, let me just change the scheme so what I'm going to do is now just put the address I0.0 .0, and here it will be I0.1 and that will be same so let's see the result what's gonna happen both are my push patterns so there is no alternate action here so in this case initially you will find this will be open and the other one is closed by default so go online turn on the monitoring so see this is closed 0 0.1 because this is no this is not pressed so this its nc bit will be closed this bit is open because this is nc here it's on by default you can see this this orange highlight this is mean this is true so this if it is true its nc is false this is false its nc is true so that's how you can relate that so when i press this nc first you can see this is true and output is last this goes false this goes true and output is last when I press this NO button this will be open and output will be unlatched I hope this makes sense if this is confusing you really need to practice NO and NC okay if you have any doubt you can put me a comment but this must be understood by otherwise further exercise will not make sense so this is about latching and unlatching using NC and NO in reverse thank you for watching